Hello YouTube, it's me Mode Hill 128 Um This is it. The one that I wanted to make some time. This is the review of Super Mario Galaxy. That's right. The Mario Galaxy or whatever you want to call it. it could be Mario 128. Um Okay, there is absolutely not much to say about bad things of this game. Let's just start with the storyline first. Okay, it's there's like a comet there. Right there. I don't remember. It's like a star show they were having, and um, Mario's being invited to watch the comets and all that. And um, correct me if I'm wrong about this because I haven't played this game for some time. And uh, Mario's being invited by Princess Peach in the same way as Mario 64. That's a girl, like I had to tell you that later. Um, and then Bowser, or Bowser, whatever you want to call him, comes in and steals the princess away. And um, takes the castle up into space. And Mario goes in space with the castle. And then a wizard, or Cooper Wizard, goes and hits him off. And he lands onto another planet where he meets. Um, was it Star Loomers and um, Princess Rosalina or Rosalina well, I don't care um, and you know he's got to save the world collect stars and all that okay let's go to the let's say my good bits good bits of the game it reminded me of Mario 64 if you look if you had the first bit of the game look at where he is okay when you enter the castle bit look around you Okay, if you haven't played it yet, look around you when you enter the one bit inside the castle grounds. It looks just like Super Mario 64. If you haven't noticed that, check it. And, um, the good thing else I like it is that you got different powers. You got Fire Mario, which is. That is great, that is great. That, I'll give that. Boo Mario. And you can get B Mario. I mean, look! I know, it's just cool. That is cool. Um, you get to be two player, but that's pretty pointless because the second player only has to shoot things which is yeah it's a quick crap another thing is there is um, 120 stars not really there's 121 if you win Luigi and Mario together collecting all 120 there's two more stars collect one with each which I have done and um another good thing is that there isn't just one color star you get two more there's three color stars there's the normal gold ones you get all yellow there's green and red, which I said that was good of them. Nintendo did put more actions into the game. And Loomers are a good thing too. They transport you to the different parts of the game, which is good. And the gravity on the game is amazing. Perfect. I love the gravity. It works out perfect. Um, if you watch one of the desert level, he moves to another one over, over on the other side. That was great. Oh, I actually love that. That was great. I take a notice on this. There's only really one attack you can do is more spin, which is yeah, it's okay. But you know, it's definitely worth it. And let's say uh, about my bad bits of the game. Bad bit, um, hmm, what are the bad bits? I don't know. I had something I had to say there, but I forgot now. Um, bad bits a little. Bit, it was a little too easy. I have to say it was pretty too. Easy. It was a bit easy. Um, some of the levels can be hard, like, one of the, where after you collect all the green lumas, I mean green stars, you, there's um, levels up there, right? And there's a water one that pissed me off. It did. And what else? Hmm. I don't know. I think that's it, really. I think I've seen guys, but I can't remember. Um, yeah, another disappointment is, you've only got three parts of life. Up into eight, which I don't know, but it, heck, you can always upgrade it. You can always upgrade. It. And another thing is, fine. I'm getting enough star bits annoys me. Star bits annoy me because sometimes the luma wants it. Some you need to get over to another level with another luma. You need the right amount, which pees me off because I can't stand it. But you know that's pretty cool though. Anything else, like getting lives every time you start the game, tokens. Which is pretty cool. He gives you lives. With Luigi gives you 20 lives. 10. But who cares. He gives you a lot of lives though. It's pretty generous this game is. But. I think that's it. Let's just think. I think that's all I can say. But I'm not saying anything bad. This is good. 
if you haven't, if you got a win, and you haven't bought this game, as I said before, um, buy the game, it's worth the money, definitely worth, uh, £34.99, well, £34, actually £35, but anyway, you can find it in Woolworths, Game Station, Game CEX, uh, I don't know about CEX yet, but I think so, um, you can buy it in CEX, and any other game shops, but you know it's worth it. My um um things. Okay, let's go to the pros and cons. Pro, the pros is that it's Mario. It reminds me of Mario 64. Gameplay is brilliant. Um, graphics are lovely, and the overall game itself is just amazing. As far as the cons go, which aren't many, but you know. Is that it's too quick to win. Um, you only get less life, and um, loomers can be annoying if someone's feeding. And that's it, really. I can't say that over level because that's just one thing. If there's more, I would have had to say them too. But nah. My total result is 9.6, people. 9.6. That's all I'm going to say. This is me, Moto128. I hope you like this review. Thanks for. New subscribers that have subscribed to me lately. Thank you very much. Love you all. Um, don't take that too personal though. Um, and uh, that's it. Comment, subscribe, favorite, make REs, and subscribe if I haven't said that already. Next review: James Bond Gold and I. Next after that is uh, I don't know. Uh, let's look for one game. Oh, there's one. Zelda Twilight Princess is next after that. Thank you for listening, and bye-bye.